Hello everyone and welcome to another knockoff review. Thanks to the team over at ShowZ. In today's video, we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles KO Necker figures. This is of course all four figures done in that seven inch scale. Now, KOs of Necker is not something that's particularly new. They've been around for quite some time. A lot of people say that they're actually still from the same factory. They're more likely to be factory seconds than straight off KOs. And when I went to Hong Kong, the market was absolutely flooded with them. So there is always the risk that when you're purchasing those figures online, that you may well be purchasing a KO bootleg or factory second. So please bear that in mind. Let's take a look at how this set pans out. Uh, the box itself uh, it looks pretty good, uh, although it does appear to be slightly faded. Uh, it's not as crisp as the official. And uh, we move around to the side there, we've got real toys, we've got Donnie on the side there striking a pose, and we have the exact same details on the back there. And we've got uh, quotes from YouTubers, and we've got the pictures, and we've got the credits on the bottom there, uh, made in China. We can remove the sleeve from the outside, revealing our turtles in our box. And we've got the turtles on the side there, again, all done with product shots. And then we've got them all posed up in some very movie-esque poses. Now, my particular copy comes with a very, very dark sewer scene as the backdrop, and it's also kind of really dented around there. So it's not really something I could use for my displays. It's just way too dark. Uh, whether the original print was like that, so I don't remember it ever being as dark as that one. And initially, straight off the bat, everything seems to be okay, albeit I only have one sigh for Wrath. For some reason, uh, there's only one in this package, when of course we should have two. And here they are out of their packaging. Now, props to Necker here. Necker did an amazing job with these. I still intend to buy the official quarter scale turtles. Uh, it's on my to-do list, but uh, fortunately they are quite costly, especially here in the UK. Uh, it's around £100 each. That's a lot of money to spend on one figure. But uh, these do look pretty darn good, but they are not perfect by any means. Uh, they're more than certainly factory seconds uh, packaged up. Uh, don't get me wrong, uh, at first glance they do look exceptionally well done, but there are flaws. You get the odd uh, sprue kind of still hanging off, a little bit of extra plastic. Uh, the shells are very kind of offset. None of them are quite central. And uh, some of their weapons just don't fit in the sheaths. Uh, Leonardo's especially, those Tanas do not fit in the sheaths on his back. Uh, the sheaths are actually bent and they're kind of glued onto the shell. Uh, I may have to kind of crack that shell, which gives the turtles a little bit extra articulation because there's a lot of uh, hidden joints underneath those shells, uh, which unfortunately is limited somewhat because uh, the shells themselves are kind of a hardened plastic and there's a lot of movement underneath there, but you can't really make use of it because these are just too hard and everything's kind of glued in. We just put a little bit of heat on there and see what we can do. But yeah, these are all slightly offset. None of them are exactly where they're meant to be. But again, I'm sure that's something a little bit of extra heat could fix. Uh, you can see what I mean by the kind of little bit of uh, extra fleshing on those. I'm just so annoyed that he only comes with one of his scythes. Raph needs to, yeah, I love the fact that we've got these pizza slices as well. I know there's actually a KO add-on kit available for these as well. Now each figure, not only do they come with these weapons, but they all come with separate hands that we can chop and change. And uh, they also come with additional kind of wind-swept bandana pieces as well, which is good, especially if you're kind of displaying them in a nighttime scene or something similar, then they can just have these kind of flowing out of the back of their heads. It's very easy just to change those out, just pop those out, but straight off the bat, I mean, these do look exceptional. 
Now taking a look at the accessories that come with it, we get a uh, pizza box, we get a pizza voucher from Tile Game Pizza. Uh, I love the fact that we've got a little voucher in there as well, bonus crust. Looking at the back of the pizza box, yeah, it's a lovely dirty pizza box. And it states there, if you do not order penicillin on your pizza, please discard right away. And then if we just open that up, we've got a few slices of pizza left and we've got a dirty looking pizza box. We've got four slices out already. i can pop those back in and they can eat them when they're hungry. We get the tub of toxic ooze, radioactive material and as previously mentioned they come with their weapons and we do get alternative hands now we've got Raf's bandana piece and Raf's hands kind of like their pizza holding hands I guess I love these little stubby fingers Donatello's bandana piece and kind of some pointing fingers again these are all pretty good for posing I can't seem to see a real difference in the shading so one would assume that these are switchable for any character and we get the blue for Leonardo and we've got uh, some kind of open palm there nice veins present and then we got Mikey's with the two thumbs up Again, lovely sculpting on all of these hands. Now let's get up close and personal and take a look at these awesome sculpts. Absolutely adore those eyes. He has two sets of these nunchucks, which I'm assuming can just slide in over here because there's nowhere else to really put them. Articulation. Head can look down that much, up, we can go left and right tilting. We get up and down on a ball socket on that shoulder. There is a rotation in there as well. We get a double jointed bend on these elbows, although the rubberized elbow pads do hinder slightly. You have to kind of just maneuver the wrist arm rotation to make full use of that we get a pivot on the wrist and a rotation in there now there is actually rotation on this upper torso if you look at these shells they're actually not meant to be completely solid there is a small line just where this black shadow is that's actually meant to kind of be away but the whole thing has been glued there we go that's freed up the shell somewhat now, so I can actually move their torso in amongst the shell, which definitely frees up a lot of posing options. Uh, the legs can come forwards and backwards, we can come out to the side. There is an upper thigh rotation there. We get not one, but two bends on those knees, and we get up and down and some pivoting on those ankles as well. I mean, these sport pretty much an identical amount of articulation as to what we get with Marvel Legends. So, I mean, for the price, I think that is exceptional. Now, getting in close and personal with Donny. That's one of my favorite head sculpts. I love the beak on him there as well. Now, let's uh, talk you through this uh, articulation again head does exactly the same up down left and right we can switch out the backs of the bandana just by pegging those out and plugging the new ones in that's kind of the more windswept look you can have that go either way i believe it's meant to be this side though and if we just move his bow staff down so we can get access to his torso. Again, just move this front piece forward slightly and just give this back piece 
a wiggle. There we go. That's the back just loosened up. I could probably go over that again with the paint. I don't know if they've just painted it all in one and it's kind of been held together by the paint. I'm not actually breaking the plastic. It's just kind of a seal between the two, but it does make the world of difference. Uh, love how Donnie looks. It's just something about him. Oh. What an amazing looking figure. Uh, again, looking around the angles, slight sprue marks across, and this chest is just slightly offset. Now let's switch out some of these hands. Uh, we can just uh, grab the wrist. Let's give them a little twist. We can unpeg the hands, and we can get the new hand. And just peg that back in as well. I think that's probably <laughs> a pointing finger. As much as I loved Leo as a kid, uh, he's probably the weakest of this set, uh, partly just due to these sections on the back here. They're glued on here at two points, and they are really, really arched. Uh, I think I'll get a hairdryer on those and straighten those out. Uh, this one here is cracked because it's such a mess. Uh, the blades themselves, they can kind of slide down, but they're really, really flexible, and they do bend quite scarily so, and his chest is probably the most offset out of all of them as well, but that's a gorgeous sculpt on Leo. I love the fact that none of these turtles are identical. They have the spots in different locations, their beaks, etc., are all slightly different colours. They've all got very individual looks and personalities. They're heroes in a half shell. They are the world's most fearsome fighting teens. I think the Power Rangers may have an argument uh, to put towards that, but uh, <laughs> very good looking, very versatile figures. And lastly, we have the turtle with the most attitude, is of course Raphael. Gorgeous looking figure. Such a shame, I only have the one Sai in here. I have contacted Shozi and they'll try and get me another one out, but uh, I wanted to get the review done as soon as possible because a lot of people were asking about these. Just look at the detailing on the pizza. That is splendid. Let's just change out Raf's bandana as well. Here's probably the stiffest of the set. Eh, looks a little bit too windswept, I think. That can kind of come up and over the shoulder. And we will switch out his hand for the kind of open palm look. And then he can hold the ooze. Trying to find the secrets of the ooze. And then we can put his thigh just down inside like so. There we go. Move Donnie around so we can see him. Mikey's looking a little bit off center. What an amazing team. And if you'd like to pose yours with other action figures, here they are alongside Spider-Man and Deadpool from the Marvel Legends line. So they do look exceptionally good together. Uh, although we do have turtles facing off against Batman at the moment, don't we? Which is uh, an animation which is coming soon. That is actually a thing. <laughs> anyway, I don't believe these, these amazing teens to sit and eat their pizza. Please, please, please be careful when purchasing these turtles online. Make sure if you're paying for an official product, you're getting an official. Chances are, if the price is too good to be true, then it's probably one of these KO sets. Shows you do have these KO sets up for, I think it's $69.99. Uh, I'll also include a discount code in the description, which is only valid for May. That's one-time use per customer. Uh, there'll be another code go up 
in June, but the May code is in the description below, along with a link to this product. Fantastic piece for customizers or for those that want this on display. I always encourage you to support the official product, and I believe we will now be getting some of the official products hitting the UK shores. But prior to this video being made, the import charges were just extortionate on the official circle. And when I saw these pop up on ShowZ, I just had to try them out. Until next time for myself and the T-U-R-T-L-E Power Turtles, ah, good, bye.